This video is about the background information of Sophocles' drama, Oedipus Rex. Greek theatres. In the old days, the people of Greece knew the plot of a drama which they came to see in a theatre, and the reason behind this fact is that the dramatists used to write dramas based on famous legends or stories transmitted from one generation to another. That is why the Greek audience used to get impressed by how a drama is displayed in place of what was happening in a drama. For example, Oedipus Rex is a legend. The Incident of a Crossroads. The story begins when the king of Thebes, Laius, gets informed by some future predicting god, Apollo, that his baby boy would kill him after growing up. So, the king gets terrified, and he pins his son's ankles together and gives the baby to a shepherd for throwing him to a mountainside. Laius did this to kill his son so that he could avoid the happening of his probable murder. It may appear cruel to a postmodern reader, but it was common in ancient Greece to kill babies by leaving them on the mountains, especially, if the baby was a girl or disabled in some way. That Theban shepherd feels pity for the baby boy and decides to give him to a Corinthian shepherd who is traveling towards Corinth. After reaching Corinth, the Corinthian shepherd gives the baby to Polybus, the king of Corinth, and Merope, the queen of Corinth, who have no children, and they bring up that baby as their son. They name him Oedipus, which means a swollen foot in the Greek language, due to the injury of his ankles. When Oedipus gets young then he hears rumors about his parentage and visits Apollo's temple to get answers of his questions. In the temple, he gets notified by the priestess oracle that he is destined to murder his father and marry his mother. That is why he leaves Corinth to stop his destiny from taking the real form of Apollo's prediction. During his travel, he arrives at a crossroads, and he meets an old man with some servants there. That old man whips Oedipus and orders him to get out of his way. Oedipus becomes extremely angry, and he kills the old man and all his servants except one. The Death of Sphinx Oedipus moves towards Thebes where a monstrous creature, Sphinx, has terrified the whole city. Sphinx is considered to have the head of a human being and the body of a lion. The monster offers a riddle to solve, and it refuses to leave the city without its solution. The riddle is, what is the name of the creature that walks on four legs in the morning, but the same being walks on two legs at noon, and that creature walks on three legs in the evening. Oedipus solves the puzzling question by saying a single word which is man. Then, the monster dies. The Rule of Oedipus The Theban citizens are so grateful to Oedipus for his noble deed that they make him their new king. Then, Oedipus marries Jocasta, the widow of Laius, and he becomes the father of her children. He is an intelligent and caring king who prefers to place his people first in all matters, and he is a highly respected ruler as well. Everything appears to be going well, then, an unknown fatal and infectious disease spreads in Thebes. It destroys cattle. The crops die due to the infection, and that disease also causes the death of newborn babies. So, the Theban citizens panic and request their gods and Oedipus for some help in this calamity. Last note. The video is presented by the channel, English Literature Lectures.